Hey everybody, this is Matt Swift here with the Mid-City Soccer Show. Charlotte FC are back on the road this weekend and heading back to Canada as they take on Toronto FC. This will be Toronto's home opener as they were on the road the first two weeks. But Toronto are off to a pretty decent start. They got a rather surprising 0-0 draw on the road against FC Cincinnati, who are the defending Supporter Shield winners. And then uh, they went on the road again and got a 1-0 win against New England in Foxborough. But let's face it, like New England deserved to lose that one because they unveiled that r really weird pregame box throwing thing. So it just, none of it makes sense. But anyway, Toronto has yet to concede a goal. Goalkeeper Sean Johnson has been tough to beat, but I will say Toronto has allowed 40 shots through two games. So I'd imagine Charlotte FC is going to have their chances. On the flip side of that, Toronto has had 18 shots through two games. And that equals our shot tally through two games as well. Toronto has been running a 3-4-2-1, much like Vancouver and much like that game. Winning those individual battles in the middle of the field, the heart of the field, is going to be paramount. Also, a big key to this game is going to be shutting down their two main players, which are Bernadeschi and Insigne, who John Hurden spoke of Insigne as saying, and I quote, we have to manage him like he's a Ferrari and make sure he's looked after in that way. Insigne played 61 minutes in that first game against Cincinnati, and then he was pulled at halftime against New England, but he did score the eventual game winner in the early first half. I think forcing Bernadeschi and Insigne to play defense will benefit us greatly. I want to see Dean Smith get back on the front foot like we did against Vancouver, really press the play, really come out aggressive, and really clog up that middle. Like I said, win those individual battles, break up plays. Uh, Toronto tends to foul a lot. Uh, I think through two games, they've racked up 32 fouls, uh, and I think they have eight yellow cards, which is uh, leading the league so far. I know it's only two game, but 32 fouls is a lot, eight yellow cards. So uh, as they start fouling, I want to see us take advantage of those set pieces. I do worry about this game a little bit. Um, I worry about tired legs. Luckily, this game has kind of an earlier kickoff, 2 p.m. hour time. Also, too, another thing that's kind of concerning me a little bit through these first two games of ours is that we've missed some chances, and I don't think we're going to be able to do that this match. I would imagine that we go with the same lineup. Maybe there'd be one change, but I, I think a point against a rejuvenated Toronto side is perfectly fine for me. I kind of see this ending in a 2-2 draw with Capetti finally scoring. And also, too, I think we get the second one off of, uh, off of a set piece. Uh, again, with uh, the way Toronto fouls, I think we're going to have some chances there. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Drop your score predictions below. Give me your thoughts. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting the show, guys. Really appreciate it. See ya.